Oh, well, Hello, and welcome to Grizzle's Den okay. uh, Speedway. Oh, it uh, gone forever. Got to recreate it. So I'm starting with Foxy Spot. Uh, creating a Street Fox Coffee Spot. And pretty much that's my first build here in the new park. Which would be... Yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> well, it's nothing that can't be fixed. Uh, the portal. Uh, uh, the portal is on the clipboard. So, that's what's playing in the background now. Uh, a little bass going. Yes. I thought I had sped this all up. Oh, weird. Okay, there's some bass. That might have been part of the first clip. There was one. Yes, sir. And then, um, now I got the bass going in the background. Uh, we got the bill going. I don't know if we are going to get... Uh, let me, we can turn the one down here. Because yeah. it might be picking that up in the background. But, which is okay, because that's me working in the park. Uh, before I... Accidentally. Well, we won't discuss that anymore. We'll just go on with a new build. I can redo all that. And I can even do it better now that I know what I was... How to build it, let's say. A lot of that was being designed as we built it, to, you know, with the Prairie Dog family doing most of the design work. And, yep. Yeah, and Ma, she has her, she's, she's got the eye, she's got a good eye. She's got a very good eye. So, we use her ideas a lot. Uh, Dad main designer he comes up with the ideas and then Alex the son helps dad make it happen and that's what you hear in the background on these videos is them jabber back and forth which in reality is me I got the one I got them sped up so they fit and that's most of what I'm doing is trying to get it to fit in under the 15 minutes because there's certain things I, I just don't want to not show or I like to put it in a clip because I can look at it later. I can see things that might not be uh, total, or something floating and it's supposed to be on the ground. So, And then when I see something I can go in and fix it. Um, like I said, this build went a little quicker because I already built it on the other side. I added a few more things to it because I'm getting a little better at building. And um, this is the first one I, I was kind of trying to show where you have an exterior wall and you, you can have an interior wall too. So I have the brick wall of the building, exterior, and then on the inside I put another wall, make it more decorative, like the interior is decorated. So that way if other... Um, Designers or others come through the park or checking the park out if I ever post it, which I might. And uh, if they go through the buildings, they'll see there's actually stuff in the buildings. And they're not just empty shells, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you know, when you're building a park, you're building a facade. You, you create a, a look, an atmosphere, so that when the guests come through that atmosphere, it's like, wow, hey, having fun, or even a little scary sometimes. Um, I think I was doing a winter candy land when I first started doing it all, and I had put a trap door down by the front of the gate, the entrance to the park, and then I, I just goofing around, I put a little skeleton dude, like he's coming out of the trap door, and I forgot about it, and then when I was watching one of my videos, I noticed customers cringing. So why why is he cringing? You, you, you see him like whoa! And then I remember I had the skeleton there coming up out of the trap door, and the customers and your guests will interact or react to certain different things in the park, and uh, depending on um, like for instance putting Foxy in, 
and having her sit there doing her show, doing her thing, people stop and talk. People actually stop and watch her. So she's a good ambassador here in the park, plus she sells a lot of coffee. <laughs> and that's what... See, it's dark. I don't know what happened to all the lights. What the heck? <laughs> it was lit up. I must have hit a button. You know, did, hit that zero button. And it, but, um, so I have to go in and relight all that. And it's hard to do with the roof on. So tip number one, if you're going to put stuff inside, try and do it before you put the roof on because it's hard to do afterwards. Because the camera views just go all ballistic trying to go through the walls. You can do it. It can be done. It just, it, it can get frustrating. <laughs> so, other than that, um, I had to relight this room up again. And I changed the curtains back there. Instead of having the red curtains, those are blue. Just kind of something a little different that this would be where they do videos and... They could have guests come in, you know, and maybe Foxy would interview them. Like, uh, I was thinking maybe if they had a, a championship for the race tracks, you know, the racing and stuff, and have a little, and then they could bring the, the winner of the uh, races and, or whatever in different promotion stuff and bring them in. They could do, like, little video clips and stuff with Foxy or even, you know, Alice Frontier. You know, have her come in and do a little video with some of the guests. It just, like, it'd be a special thing. That somebody go, wow, I got to see it. Yeah, you know, it just, it's all making believe. <laughs> Trying to make, give the park a little bit of, like, wow, hey, maybe, you know, that, uh, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> so, I have fun doing it. It just, it's, I see, I go through the list of stuff and I'll see something go, oh, where was that? Um, when I go, go looking for the clapboard, <laughs> a good example of that. Because what I'm trying to do is wherever I put one of my video cameras, I'll put a clapboard there. So that way I know that, okay, that's a view I can, I can use if I'm putting a couple clips together. You grab one from that video camera. Maybe another angle from a different video camera, and um, I will create video clips without the the overlay or your heads up, your your heads up display. And it, uh, I, I, I kind of throw it back and forth, mix it up a little bit, and now I'm starting to put some foliage in because foliage adds a lot to the park, to your scenery. And it attracts customers. Um, you get a, like, if you're going to do the game where you're doing the management part, some of that stuff is important. You know, trying to keep your uh, your areas looking nice with uh, scenery and creating different looks, and that you know comes back to the guests uh, and you know their perception of the park and well I'm you know I got notifications going that tell you what the, some guests are saying like oh this is a mess but a lot of the times I find that stuff when I'm going through these video clips like I've seen a couple where a couple benches got broke so I had to replace those and like I said sandbox you're not losing any money so you know I just take you know repair replace and uh, that, that keeps the park looking decent without it too much trashy. Or trash is another thing too. If I see an area where trash is starting to build up and then well, I need to get some um, sweepers in there and that's what I'll do. I'll put a couple of those guys in there. Um, rides tend to break down or will break down if you don't have maintenance. So, Like I say, you don't have to worry about the income and stuff. So. You, Pay them well, put them out there, let them do their jobs. Like, you know what? You got a brilliant looking park, and it works. And you learn. You learn like um, like they said, the pathway here is a specific design that they came up with. The Prairie Dog Family, uh, trying to eliminate um, places where people might. Uh, congregate and block pathways. That's why she's off to the side. So if we're stopping in there 
and that line is forming there, they, the people still can make their way down the path. It won't block the pathway. So I'm going to put a couple facilities in there. The ones that are facing the pathway will be where they can go inside, like first aid. Um, the bathrooms are that way. And they can, it's not going to make a queue in the pathway, but it still be open to the customers to use. And uh, you're using space, which is, well, there's unlimited space here. This place is huge. By the time I, if you fill this whole place up, you'd, you'd run out of um, uh, being able to build anything anymore because it'd be just too big. So, and another thing I did is I took the wooden and I made a little step down. So it looks like they're instead of because that there was the ground was visible there. So I brought that, I kind of copied, brought it forward and set it down a little bit. I can just step up to the uh, the little video shack or video shack, video shack. There, see, there's the there's the ca video camera I put in, and now the camera's got a good shot of. Foxy kind of simulating what the camera angle would be and I think this is where I start looking for the clapboard and uh, it's like where is it I know I remember I had it on the, so I should have made it a favorite but now I got one in the park so I can go to that one copy it from that point I don't have to go looking for it again which saves a little bit of time no, it works great. I got some bass in the background going. I can hear it. Oh, cool. I tried to do a little bit earlier tonight. I just, the sound didn't sound good, so I just, I figured, go to the one I already got established with bass, put the video clip on that, and that put the bass in behind the clip, and now I'm just doing the audio track over the top of that. And this will be Street Fox Coffee's build with uh, a, a shiny spot for uh, 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 Foxy. And we're still looking at the build we've started here in um, Grizzle's Den Speedway. Putting in a clapboard showing I start putting these in when I when I put in a surveillance camera so I know where the cameras are and it's, it's like kind of like saying this is a photo shoot type area so if I come in here and click on the camera I get a good shot of um, Foxy and later on I'll be getting some good shots while she's entertaining the guest which she is phenomenal at doing because I usually when I go through the park there's usually somebody standing there and she's uh, selling the coffee a hot cup of coffee on a cold winter's day or a nice cup of coffee to start a good amusement day and there she is this is her spot I, I made that that's what that little building right to the right there is it's got one of those uh, special spots that you can set and then you can assign your staff members to that spot and that's what I did here so this would be Foxy's spot she's got a little uh, staff facility there a rec, center, a rec center any staff member can use that rec center not just Foxy but it's convenient for her so when she ready to take a break she can just go sit down and she can enjoy whatever the rec center has to offer the employees here at the park always keeping our employees happy if we can so what I'll do too is I'll give her a pay raise um, kind of a few perks like that keep her happy keep her at the park here and now that I've got that area done I think my next build I'm going to start working on the main entrance here cover up that big cave like hole and make it look like an entrance to um, an amusement park that uh, focuses on a, a racetrack where the guests can race cars and or they're more like go-karts but um, uh, that's where I gotta figure oh we're getting to the end of this one so we're gonna leave it at that from Pillhead and Old Grizz the LA Studio Sons thank you for watching and we will continue this build and I will try and save it right.